Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As I promised, I wanted to play this dinner duo game together with you guys. So it's not actually like together, but we're just going to see everything right now, right here, because I haven't opened this box before. Everything is super new, I'm going to show. Let's prove. It looks like this. So, fully packed. Um, we have here some sponge and some tools, probably. This is very hard, by the way. It's just also some super extra box. I don't know for what. No idea. And this is a super heavy stuff. Opa. Not even. Yeah, by the way, that's how the box looks. Dino Dua. As I showed in another video, that's it. This is that exactly this box, and I need to take this one out. Oops. Yeah, finally. So it's just something square, something inside of the back, fully, fully, I don't know, glued or anything. And we can actually open that one. I don't know if you hear that sound. Mm, yeah, certainly something. So, let's have a look at first to instructions or whatever. Although I'm never reading any instructions. I'm just doing it because of uh, <laughs> trying to look very smart. So just to know what I'm going to do. Um, Nothing is in English, everything is... Oh wait, I found something. It says dig out. Sounds like English to me. Montage, montage, um, kit contents, fossil block, hammer, chisel brush and one sponge. So, nothing, nothing. Actually, we don't know what to do with that one. Warning, not suitable for children until under 36 months. Choking. Mm. Age restrictions. <laughs> children are under the 8 years old cannot look this one. Joke. Okay, let's put our box away. Dig two in one. A super heavy stuff. I guess table, I, you can actually hit someone with it. Table is getting dirty, that's why I put some extra towel or whatever. Yep. Sorry. Sorry, microphone. Look at that. They are getting white. You see that? I think not, but okay. Uh, what to do? <gasps> Ooh, this is a blood. It's a blood from the dinosaurs. Let's start from this one. Or better to start from... Look, look, now you see certainly all the white stuff around. But I have second paper. Let's have a look on that. What does it say? Maybe it will give some little hint. Tyrannosaurus. And Triceratops. Yeah, I'm not familiar with none of the dinosaurs, so sorry. Uh, let's quickly read something. And it's everywhere. Oh my god. I don't see anything in English. Wait. Betekenis van de naam. Koning van de tyrannische reptilen. No. Oh wait, found meaning of the name Tyrant King Lizard. Six kilograms weight, length twelve meters, four meters height, and diet carnivoros. And it has some anecdote. The Tyrannosaurus was very ferocious. His mouth had about sixty very sharp teeth. Sounds fun. Mm. 
Oh, do you need the water for this? Wait. Okay. That was a special sound for people that want to fall asleep, you know? But there are some bunch of videos on the network, so there's like some very satisfying sound, like or whatever, and this is my sound for people that cannot fall asleep, so they can like fall asleep better, have some nightmares or whatever. Does someone have this pain in the teeth? Enough? I don't... So for me it doesn't really matter. Let's try it like this. Wait. Oh! I got the one piece. <laughs> Good. I feel like I need to prepare something. I wonder, can I like put this Gibbs back to together? If for example I want to play this second time. Anyway. Thank you. Let's do like this. It's, it's a pot from uh, mint. I was trying to grow mint for myself. I'm fond of it, but it died. Um, so I was talking about plants. I have something. Something like a plant, but like almost a plant, but still, uh, let's say, a life flora or uh, fauna. This mango, and I got presented. It's just from a neighbor. Look, look to that. It's a face. And the mango is very soft and probably it's super delicious, but I just cannot eat it because it has a face. And that one, that one made a hole here just right here you could super jealous yeah because really the organization from where from whom i was hiring this apartment they were very nasty people because if you remember guys i was streaming streaming and for one month i couldn't stream for one and a half months or Something like this, I couldn't stream anymore because I moved to a new apartment and they didn't have this connection. And that was pretty awful and no one could do anything about that. Let's try to be as much clean as we can. Let's just drop it. Oh, it's just flying on me. So guys, after a lot of efforts that I made, finally I have some result. It's this little bone. It was very hard to find it, but look at that. Look at this small bone. I don't know from whom, from what, from which of the dinosaur is this, but you see that one and this one actually look like um, a bone from back you know the one that is or or maybe it's something like the beginning of the neck or whatever we are getting somewhere certainly we're getting somewhere and right now you see the result is just me <laughs> digging it together with an operator together with a vacuum cleaner so it's just right here from the left side of me look at that guys um, I don't have lots of knowledge about bones and such but this one looks like a rib this one I don't know this one looks like what just like some things Thank you. Let's 
try to put that thing away. I bought this game um, on very big sale of lots of lots of things for children. I'm just hoping that I will find some Minecraft stuff for me, for brother, so we can share since it's one of Minecraft and you know I immediately saw this game and I thought wow that's awesome so look at that it's very loose it's shaking but I cannot put it out yet it's just stuck there and they made it very smart all my life I was dreaming to be an archaeologist you know all my life such a perfect profession, such an awesome, exciting profession. I just imagined, you know, you're sitting outside and it's so cold, so windy. There is like not lots of people around you. Yeah, only the very exciting archaeologist is you. And they all want to search something inside of something you know like earth and to find like some bones or whatever and they sitting all sweaty or dusty in that thing you know as like this is my glasses after what i was trying to do and that stuff several times went inside of my eye and somewhere in my in in between my hair i have it and this thing is just a little gypsies yeah, and gypsy, they're just flying everywhere, they're like on couch, they're just they're on the floor everywhere. It's perfect, perfect, exciting profession. If you like to be all in that stuff, if you like just to put your hands in I don't know where, and the thing is, you're just getting super, super interested in something you might find maybe not actually you know maybe you find something maybe not doesn't matter you're just very interested in process you need to be interested in the process of searching something so yeah that's the results that we are getting feels like there is no two dinosaurs but only one i don't know if these bones are actually enough for two of them and let's go here. So here I feel some, um, let's say, two rings apart. This is like how it goes. Let's try just to... Oh, it broke. It got broken. This one also got broken. Any archaeologists here today in my studio? Please, you are welcome. You are welcome. To, for any of your comments as you know as you wish if I will find out that these bones are made of real bones I think I'm just going to boil them you know just further to put them further into this dinosaur ear so they will never come back you know though actually pity thing to say but but this kind of toys they I don't know, they can they can just kill any patients of everyone. Let's look at that, we are getting something somewhere, so let's have a look. Oh, it's a perfect portrait, a perfect portrait of me and the dinosaur. I can actually make a picture and say, yeah, I've been there. We got the first piece. I'm sniffing in just in case. <laughs> look at this one it's a good thing look i know i know how i will use this in my daily life so at first i will just clean this um this hole you know see and then i will just attach it to some stick probably a very long one maybe even you know kind of one of the bones and this is a perfect scratcher for your back it's just like this if you cannot reach it if if it's itches very very much you can just use this one and i will have this one as real i will say that i um was hunting on a dinosaur and i just found it so look i have perfect pieces everything from dinosaur this is 
so you see that's how crazy women begin to look right now i just you know ruined this one just was like ruining sitting further playing that game oh look at that it's perfect yeah that's good that feels perfect why i didn't do that just in the beginning i would be a perfect archaeologist if i will not just you know kind of ruin all the bonds instead of let's say gathering them but look what we got we got oh i guess it's kind of teeth and this is a second scratcher for a back So we are finding more and more pieces. Now I began to think that I was actually wrong and we have enough bones for two or three of the dinosaurs. I didn't decide yet. But you know this one look, looks like um looks like look look looks like hippopotamus for me with a horn. So guys, actually I have a perfect conclusion and perfect uh, tip for everyone that is going to play any games in the world. Look at that. This is the back. This is the back of um, this piece of hips. Dips. And look. Actually, it's less than uh, 5 millimeters of the deepness that bones are placed there. And if I would start from the bottom, I would find some um, pieces of dinosaur, you know, bones and such already in like quite beginning of the game. And this is why you need to start always from the bottom. I just uh, placed it how it was placed inside of the box, so it was placed like this. And look at that, how many we have here. It's like two centimeters or two and a half. It's quite much, so that's why I was all frustrated and interested in the same time finding the piece of bones. And this is just the bottom. Always start from the back. So that's everything we've got and I'm gonna to explain what is what, so very quickly, this is, you see very clearly, this is a hat and it's, it's a cat with a tail, this is a leg of the cat and this is a mouth. Uh, you know, ears of the cat, it's, the, the cat is yawning right now. So we have two cats. Okay, let's put everything together. Let's try it. Guys, are you excited to see the results? That's the game that I've been playing for whole day, really, whole day digging out something, as it says here, dig out. And here I found two dinosaurs. One of them is Triceratops, second one is T-Rex. Well, he has like one name, which is like so long and I forget it completely, it's uh, Tyrannosaurus, well, and here are they, <laughs> so those are the results, as you can see, um, I think they already got an inter fight, because he's missing one hand, as you can see here, right here, you see? Why? We're gonna ask you why you're missing one hand? Are you bad boy? Yes. Come here. Oh, we look cute. 
What do you have in your mouth? <laughs> How amazing is it? Did you see that guys? Maybe I should just yeah, open it closer. He already took off someone's hand. Someone's paw. But he needs it. He needs it. Why did you do that? Oh why? Were you hungry? Are you are you give it, give it back. Are you playing? Hunger games or something? Oh my god, that's a big mouse. I better put there or something, really. Oh wow. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately it's not possible anyway, so you just have to like, you know, stick it here. Um I actually would like to show you more um, collection of my dinosaurs. I've been getting some presents. This. This is actually also very easy to make. I'm um, sorry, this hat is on the other side. Well, there's some awesome uh, little hands that are just moving, you know. And dinosaur um, and unit slash unicorn something. I don't know. You can see a little bit close. That's what I got on my birthday too, but this was this year, so I think this is very awesome. I'm gonna use him as a judge. This is just like a viewer, of course. Well, few words about the game itself. Would I advise to play this game? That game, I mean. Would I advise? Definitely, for people with a lot of patience, I would advise to do this. If you want to spend a lot of time, like whole day with your kids, please play it. But if you want to get results quick, like in one hour or something, you should just follow some tips. Try not to dig out these dinosaurs. Just try to, you know, like um, take that whole gips, turn it to different sides, Try to see what is like the thinner, so you can just take a hammer and just, you know, crush it. Because it really took a lot of time and I wanted to, it to be done quicker because I just wanted to see what's, what's inside. But so happy, but so far I'm very happy with the results because um, what I really like in those, they have great details. Like, you can see all the bones, firstly. Secondly, I love the, the color. Uh, the bone looks realistic. It has a nice color, I mean, like how you would imagine the color of the bone. And the most interesting part is that it's even a little bit shiny uh, at some parts. And in other parts is just like, you know, not that well. You can you can see. I hope you can see a bit of the shininess and etc. Today, judge is the unicorn slash dragon. The winner gets uh, the bone, which is inside of the <laughs> triceratops. Well, okay. Um, the the fight starts now. Who can run quicker to this bone? That dinosaur will get an extra bone. But <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be careful with your dinosaurs because they're very vulnerable. So don't do it too hard because um, I feel very pity for our T-Rex. I'm gonna just glue it. Keep watching. Bye.